I, for me, the the when I got the script and I read it, I, I uh, there was one scene that scared me uh, really, and, and how am I ever going to do this? And uh, it's in the beginning of the movie uh, when uh, uh, forty uh, naked men run out on uh, on the ice and uh, and jump into cold water, and uh, I hate cold water, and uh, I was really scared of that scene. And uh, I won't tell how it ended up, but we, we did the scene, and uh, everything else felt just like a Sunday drive. I mean, it wasn't, there wasn't any problem with with other scenes. So, uh, I mean, uh, you always have to react in a, to to every situation, every scene, in in, in the way that the scene uh, sort of uh, in, invites you to. So, uh, I I wasn't scared. I was uh, I was uh, enjoying actually. It sounds like a cliche, and it, it is a cliche, but it's still true. I was enjoying every day of, of, of working. I mean, if you look at his, uh, his story, I mean, uh, he fought for his country, and uh, after the war, war, war was over, his country didn't fight for his rights, and uh, that, that's uh, probably one thing that's, uh, that bothered him for, for the rest of his life. And I know that just before he died, he, he wanted to get the recognition in Finland. And he never got it. He just, uh, uh, and that's a bit sad. So if if there would be a, any any way to just get him back for one day, I, I would love to just uh, take him around and, and uh, show him that uh, people really admire and respect him today. I just started to to collect everything I could, could get on him, books and uh, and uh, of course the internet. I mean, uh, it's uh, Wikipedia is a great thing just to get to get the surface. But but then uh, I also met up with a lot of his friends and. Uh, Flew down to to LA to the Tom of Finland Foundation, sat down with uh, with Sharp and Dirk Denner of the foundation, and uh, had a really really nice conversation. It was a nervous meeting, of course, a meeting for the first time. But uh, then when we sat down with with Dirk in in uh, in Tom's room, sitting on Tom's bed, and uh, we had a that gave me a lot of confidence just to 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 move on because it's of course it's it, when when you're portraying a, a real human being, you have to be you have to be sort of cautious, or, or you at least you have to know it. And, and uh, but then again, when you get down to shooting, it's it's the same work as you do on any movie. So um, in the end, it's about research and uh, intuition. So I think that's the way we work with this movie too. I have no idea where the courage came from, and uh, it's it's um, it maybe had to do uh, this uh, my interpretation of it that. that uh, the war probably had an, a great impact on him. And if you're young, I mean, uh, in, in your 20s, and you're sent to to, to the war, and uh, you get to see people dying, and uh, you probably get a sort of a perspective on life that that we who haven't gone through that don't have. That uh, life can end at any moment. So it's you better just live it, and uh, you better not be afraid. All the idols, all the, all the icons of the world, they're. Uh, when they close their door or at home, they're just uh, normal human beings, and uh, I think that what we that was the thing that we were trying to sort of find. And uh, you have to uh, realize when people are talking about uh, a person that has meant a lot to them, they are always talking about the the good things. It's